a lone man kneels beside the body of his 13-year-old son, weeping and praying. The boy was killed along with another person during a Russian rocket attack on the city of Kharkiv in eastern Ukraine. This time, a bus station was targeted. Police officers helped cover the boy's body with a tarp. His father does not leave his side. It's yet another grim and disturbing image of the war, now in its fifth month, with seemingly no end in sight. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Russia's current geographical targets include not only the Donetsk and Luhansk regions of the Donbass, but also Kherson and Zaporizhia in southern Ukraine. U.S. officials said Lavrov's comments were not exactly a surprise, but a dangerous reminder of Russia's continued intentions. Uh, despite what we heard in the run-up to this war, this war is nothing more uh, than a war of territorial conquest. That's what we warned about uh, before February 24th. That is what uh, we have consistently said ever since. Despite Russia's ongoing bombardment of southern and eastern Ukraine, including recent attacks overnight on the cities of Bakhmut and Kramatorsk, the Ukrainians are repelling Russian ground attacks in the east while launching counteroffensives in the south. The United States announced that four more what are called High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, or HIMARS for short, will be sent to Ukraine soon, adding to the dozen already on the ground. These, along with other weapon systems and also heavy artillery, such as the M777 howitzers that Newsmax saw during a recent exclusive tour on the front lines, will certainly help hold back the Russian lines, but not necessarily push them back very far. In fact, many Ukrainian military and government officials that we've interviewed both on camera and off, have echoed the same sentiment. While they greatly appreciate the help, it's not necessarily enough to win the war. Ukraine's First Lady, Olena Zelenska, speaking to members of Congress, said Ukraine needs more weapons, quote, that would not be used to wage a war on somebody else's land, but to protect one's home and the right to wake up alive in that home, not to kill children in their strollers. In Kyiv, John Huddy, Newsmax. <laughs>